Well, this is a real crap in the coffee maker. Posse Posse Packer Nation, welcome to an episode of PackCast, the podcast where you know to be a Packers fan. But it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom Grassi, and wow, this is a nice nut shot to begin our Wednesday morning. The day before training camp, the Green Bay Packers have released Pro Bowler defensive linemen and one of my favorites on the Packers, Mike Daniels. And to say that this is a shock is the understatement of the year. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to go through kind of the potential whys that he was released and, of course, the ultimate question on who the heck is going to replace Mike Daniels. Now, we, you know, I'm shocked right now, but I feel like the writing was somewhat on the wall. And I didn't think, Mike Daniels, and I said this previously, Mike Daniels wasn't going to be on the team next year, right? We weren't going to re-sign him. This was the last year of his contract. He was already getting paid about $10 million with everything this year. And throw that all together with he just turned 30 years old. He was going to hit the free market, you know, and, and he was going to go on and have a career outside of Green Bay. I don't think many people doubted that. However, I, I am surprised just to see them one, cut him before the season begins, and two, the day before training camp just doesn't seem nice. But, I mean, that's the the business side of it. But Mike Daniels, fourth-round pick in 2012. He's been a starter for the last five seasons in which he played 102 games. He started 72 of them, had 29 sacks, 158 solo tackles. The last five years as a starter had 20 and a half sacks, only two last year, and 10 solo tackles. Now, what this will mean for the Packers financially, uh, they will get hit with $2.8 million in dead money, but it will free up $8 million. So I'm assuming finances played a role in this somewhat. You saw the other day that Dean Lowry got a three-year, $20 million extension. He's only 25 years old. Lowry had his best season last year, but has always been seen as a rotational guy. Somehow, like somewhat like Mike Daniels has been for the past uh, year in that like he just comes in every now and then, but he's that disruptive force on the field. And of course, Mike Daniels had the Pro Bowl year in 2017. Now, there's a couple things surrounding this. Obviously, finances and that it, it saves up some cap room, and we're going to need it, is that you have guys like Blake Martinez, but more importantly, Kenny Clark is going to be a free agent next year, and we do not want Kenny Clark to hit the, the open market because he is young and he is a damn good nose tackle. So uh, we are going to have to be paying. We're going to be reaching deep into the purse for Kenny Clark. So maybe before this season really gets underway, we'll re-sign him, or this is just going to essentially have some money to throw at him later on. Uh, in addition, there was reports coming out that we did attempt to trade Mike Daniels, but there were no takers. The guy is definitely going to get a fat size contract somewhere. I already read rumors that potentially the Browns could take a look at him. Uh, who knows, even potentially the Buccaneers. But there, there will definitely be a lot of... Uh, potential suitors for Mike Daniels, and I do wish him the best. And so looking at this about the writing on the wall, what we were talking about before, is that the Packers, and I even talked about this uh, with Zach on Strong Opinion Sports, that we have we have so many pass rushers right now that we're like, what are we going to do with all these pass rushers, which is n- never a thing that was said in Green Bay, like, ever. But we have, obviously, Rashawn Gary, who we just drafted, we have either of the Smiths, so we have Preston Smith. We also have Zadarius Smith. We just re-signed Dean Lowry. And so we even have Montrevious Adams, who's still there. And so I think what the the goal of the or the message that's being sent by this is we believe in our free agents and our newly signed players, Rashawn Gary. Obviously, the linebackers coach had a lot to say about Gary, all positive. So I I think where we were trying to figure out with the depth chart on where people were going to fit in, I always thought that you were going to have probably Preston Smith uh, line up on the defensive line. You'd have Zadarius uh, as a linebacker or vice versa. And then you would have Rashawn Gary who would kind of probably fit in like an outside linebacker role and potentially every now and then kind of also be down on the defensive line. 
But I wouldn't be like, I don't know where they're going to play all of these guys, or we're just going to see a whole bunch of different looks and we're just going to see a whole bunch of different rotations. Um, I could see like, while I could see that Gary could be put on the line full time. I think also he, his skills could be better utilized uh, as an outside linebacker. But either way, um, I think this is sending a strong message that, again, something that we have known for quite some time, that this is going to be a very different Green Bay Packers football team. And the Packers are are confident in the direction that they're going in, releasing a very popular and uh, and longtime and beloved Packer in Mike Daniels. So uh, a bit of a shock today. And uh, I'm very interested to see what training camp is going to hold. Obviously, starting tomorrow, we'll see what Rashawn Gary and the Smiths have in store for us. Um, but uh, it's a new era in Green Bay, and, and just hopefully it's a good one. But let me know what you think down below about this shocking news. Uh, and, yeah, let's let's do that. Uh, you can always find me at TomGrassyComedy.com or at TomGrassyComedy on all the social media you see down below. Also, a big shout-out and thank you to all my patrons over at Patreon.com slash TomGrassyComedy. Uh, the Fantasy Football League, we're doing two of them this year. Uh, the first one is completely full. We are only doing one other one, so there's just 11 spots left. Uh, if you would like to join, check out Patreon.com slash TomGrassyComedy for all of that wonderful stuff. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, we're going to start getting back into the swing of things now that football season's starting to gear up. So stay tuned, but thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassi. And as always go pack, go. (laughs) 